Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On and welcome to Tuesday's edition of Tottenham Transfer Talk. First up, some news from L'Equipe in France, France's premier sports newspaper, by the way. Uh, they are saying once again that Spurs are sniffing about, Levy's got his nose in the pants of Marseille's president for Michu Batshuayi. Now, if you don't know about him, he's a Belgian international striker, he's scoring tons of goals in France, and we've been interested in him for a while, but I personally don't think it's going to happen. It does strike me like it could be a Spurs signing. We do need a striker. We do love a Belgian. And we love a goal scorer. You know, we like Harry Kane, etc., etc. However, Marseille have come out over the last couple of months a few times and said we are not selling him in January. So to me, for them to say that, they are even tr either trying to up the, up the price, which of course isn't going to suit Daniel Levy, or they're just saying we don't want to sell him until the summer at the earliest. So for me, in terms of rating that possibility of that transfer, I'm going to go for two out of five. Let me know what you think, though. Second Second bit of news from the Daily Mail. Now, if you don't read the Daily Mail, you should. Really good stuff, especially the celebrity part. They're saying that we're definitely going to sign Ebbs Fleet's Shiloh Tracy. Now, we talked about him before. We know we don't know much about him. He's a youth player. He's barely even played for Ebbs Fleet's uh, first team, easy for me to say. But he's interesting Spurs. We took him out to America on a little tour. He scored two goals in two games for us. And he's about 17 years old, suits us. Paul Mitchell signing, sees a bit of talent in him, wants to bring him into the development squad to work under Ugo Ehiog. I think for me, that's a four out of five. Apparently talks are in a, at an advanced stage, so maybe we'll be getting Tracy into Spurs. Sounds good, doesn't it? Uh, finally today, the Daily Star and the Guardian both say that we are battling Chelsea and Manchester United for locomotive Moscow striker Umar Niasi. Now, I don't know if that's exactly how you pronounce it, but that's how it reads to me. He scored 12 in 21 games this season and is rated at around 15 million pounds. Now, I wouldn't say that the Russian league is that strong a league these days. Let's face it, AVB is top of the league and winning things at Zenit. People only really go there for the money, so I'm not sure if this one makes any sense. Although The Guardian, who I do tend to trust, say that he has his heart set on a move to England. Obviously, that doesn't mean anything. I don't know. I'm not sure if that's the kind of player we're going to get in, but let's face it, I didn't know anything about Hung Min Son when we signed him, so Paul Mitchell knows a lot more than me. It's a possibility. I'm going to give that one a 2 out of 5 possibility rating, but let me know if you've played with him on FIFA, if he's good, or Football Manager, or you know more than me. Tell me about it. If you've seen him on YouTube, let me know what you think in the comments section below. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well on YouTube. Drop the video a like, and don't forget to uh, follow us on Twitter, at Spurred On TV. Come on, you Spurs. Hi, guys. It's Barnaby for Spurred On. This is my post-match review after Spurs drew one all at Goodison Park against Everton.